What's up fam? My name's Tam and you're tuned into religion. I know it's been a while since I've checked in, but I wanted to take some time because something has really been in my heart. Um, just around our faith. We've got a lot of craziness happening in the world today. And it's so easy to get distracted with what God wants us to do versus what the world is doing. And knowing that there has to be a separation in who we are versus who the world is, right? We understand that we are we are the salt of the earth. We understand that we are the light in those dark places. And in being the light, you're not always going to be confronted with people who agree with you and your standard that God has placed over your life. Repeat that again. You being the light means that you are abstract. That means not everybody's gonna agree with you. Just like light is to dark, that means that you, if you're shining in the dark place, that means that somebody's somebody's gonna be upset about now this, this room or somebody's life is being illuminated, right? So imagine this, you're the sun, you're shining over people in their homes, in their households, and they might be in their sleep, all right? Sleeping good, enjoying what they've been doing, enjoying not listening to God, enjoying not reading their Bibles, enjoying being disobedient, enjoying having sex before marriage, enjoying lying and stealing and being conniving, enjoying their hatred for their neighbors. They might be asleep, but you, here you, here you come. And yet now you're shining over them. And now some of them are going to get up and you're going to think they're going to receive your message or the message of the word of God, but they're going to get up and they're going to shut the blinds on you because they enjoy being asleep. I'm going to repeat that. They enjoy being asleep. They're not ready to be awakened. They're not ready to, to change. They're not ready to do any of that. And some of them, this is what they, they've been, they've been dismissing the light all of their lives, but yet you shine because one of these days, somebody's going to appreciate your rays. Somebody's going to appreciate you shining over their life. And if they're anybody like me, like I, I don't like getting up before I need to get, I enjoy my sleep, but if you cut on just the right amount of light. It forces me to get up forces me to make my way, press my way, start my day and do better. It forces me to, to move. You understand what I'm saying? So keep shining. Be the anomaly. Not everyone is going to agree with you. I see you guys messaging and commenting and going back and forth and trying to prick people's hearts for them to do the right thing. Keep doing what you're doing in love. Keep shining. Keep being obedient to what God told you to do by being fishers of man. Okay, keep doing it. Don't don't grow tired. Don't go weary in your well doing. Keep doing it. Keep shining. It's what God called you to do. It's what He called us all to do. But I just wanted to place that in on your heart and on your mind and encourage you that it's okay for people not to agree with you. It's supposed to be this way. Go, go pull some of those people out of the darkness. I know it's weird always being the light when people are comfortable laying in the dark, but be the light anyway. Do what God told you to do anyway. Be obedient anyway. Be a fisher, a man anyway. Do it anyway. Even when you feel like it's not being received, even when maybe they're double teaming against what God's standard is and all you're doing is repeating what the Bible says. Even when people tell you they don't believe, hold your standard, keep your faith, continue being a light. People see you, we see you, and God is gonna continually send people for you to do your part. Everyone has an opportunity to confess Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Not everybody knows who he is. Most people know who God is by knowing who you are and by knowing who he is in you. You understand what I'm saying? So don't taint the image of God. Keep having the standard. If you profess to be Christian, that requires action. That requires being a doer and showing people who God is. And God is going to look a little bit different for everybody, but succinctly the nature of god will always be generated in love 
in in our faith in our standard what we accept um in being holy so keep doing what you're doing keep being the light